Ismail says, can I sell makeup and other cosma cosmetics to women? Are there any guidelines to follow when doing such a business? Well, what's the ruling on selling cosmetics? It's halal. Selling a lipstick, an eyeliner, a, a, a mascara, nail polish, all of these things are like the ruling of selling a knife. You can use the knife to cut meat and bread with, and you can use it to hurt people. And I do not know what your intent is. The product that I'm selling is halal. How you use it is what makes you sinful or not. And therefore, selling cosmetics, makeup, perfumes online, for example, or in a shop, when people come and buy, I do not have the right to accuse their intent that they're going to wear it without the hijab. They're going to give it to uh, uh, an actress who's going to appear on movies and I would be sinful for assisting her. This is not logical because you can open the door for wiswas and for the doubts of shaitan even if you sell a bottle of water. This bottle of water can be transformed into ice and then you can have scotch on the rocks. So you've assisted him to drink, drink intoxicants. A'udhu Billah. This is not logical. You cannot sell cars. You cannot even sell a pen. Because this pen might be used in signing a riba-based loan and contract. So the rule of thumb is, if the product itself is halal, then selling it is halal providing I do not know the intent of the person buying it. I have a bakery. Someone comes to me and says, I'd like you to bake me a cake, chocolate cake with this and that on it. Okay, the price is so-and-so. Gives me the price and leaves. I give them the cake. They take it and they celebrate a birthday or an anniversary. I didn't know that. Your money is halal. Your work is halal. Someone comes to me and says, I'd like you to make me a birthday cake and put happy birthday to Jonathan. You refrain and say, I apologize, but this is against my religion. I cannot participate in making you such a cake. Because now you know, before making it and selling it, the intent. Someone comes and leases your apartment or a shop in your building. And they say that we're going to sell clothes. They say that we're going to live in it. That's halal. After the contract is signed for a whole year, you find out that they have an ATM machine. Or they are selling something that is haram. Or they are partying. Uh, uh, in means of haram and music, etc. You didn't know. But now you do. After the year is over, you do not renew the contract and so on.